So I've got Joe Norris from Get Your Tips Out. And today's video is about the County Handicap Hurdle, one of the most competitive races at the Cheltenham Festival on day four. So who's your tips and who you think has got the best chances for like, let's say, maybe choose one or two each way. And then who you think is, who you think is going to win the race. Obviously yeah. it's a point out of a race, but then try and choose one or two others that punters might want to have like a nice each way bet on. Yes, my main play in the race is going to be absurd uh, for Willie Mullins. Now, this is around seven to one. Judging by the market, it's it's going to be really well back this horse. So uh, try and take the seven to one if you can. I mean, some places are fives already. Um, now, with this horse, it obviously brings Ballyburn form to the table. Uh, finished fourth to that horse uh, at the DRF last month. Obviously, the form has worked out well. I just think the mark of one three eight must us underestimate him. Um, yeah, the confidence seems to be growing. So I, I just think it's going to go off a lot shorter come post time. Uh, with the each way shouts, I've put up two at nice prices. Now, Biela stock is around 12 to 1 uh, in the rich Ricky colours. Um, obviously, this horse has come over from France, did well on the flat in France. It's taken well to hurdles. Now, this horse was brought down at Leopardstown last month. Um, so you sort of, you've got a chance him to bounce back. But as a result, his mark stayed more or less the same. I think he might be a pound higher. Um, so I think he could be well handicapped. And then at a monster price, I'm going to take a little chance on Jim Coco uh, for Harry Fry. Now, he improved to win at Ascot, which I was quite impressed with. He completely blew out at Doncaster last time, but I think he had a few excuses. They probably had this race in mind as well for him. Um, so he just made a pill at, at, the, at the monster prices. He's around, yeah, 33 to 1. Yeah. I mean, I'm. You've not mentioned a couple of who I. I, I think Gordon Elliott will win this race, and I'm yeah. quite bullish that I think Gordon Elliott will win it. But I quite fancy. But he's got two runners, and I quite fancy both of them. I think um, you, you were saying about obs, absurd. Um, King of Kingsfield beat absurd in that race. He was in third, mm. and obviously that form's been Frank Ballyburn's gone on to win the race. Yeah. Slade Steele that came second's gone on to win at Cheltenham as well. So that form between King of Kingsfield and Absurd is rock solid. There's no better form there that's been boosted at the Cheltenham Festival on, on that. Yeah. But then one or two like interviews within the ad and who's got the best chance and they've said the Pied Piper. So I'm like, oh, there's good value there then at 12 to one as well. So I yeah. think it's wide open. Um, I think... You could you could play two or three each way shouts in this type of race. Um, what were you saying about the the stats and the data on um, the amount of winners that the favourite has in this race? Because obviously, I'm presuming with it being a 20 odd runner race and with it being a handicap, I reckon this would be probably one of the lowest percentages of kind of favourite winners. What, yeah. what are the stats on that? So just a few of the stats. Uh, one of the stats is eight of the last twelve winners were aged five or six. So you don't really want the older, more exposed horses in this race. Um, there's only been two winning favourites from the last 12 renewals, and there's only been four uh, winners from the 12 in the top three in the betting. So really, you want to try and look away from the top of the market in this. Um, also, just touch on the ratings, you want to be rated 134 or higher. Um, 11 of the last 12 winners have been rated a higher than 134, so that's something else to, to consider as well. Yeah, I think it's wide open. I think I'm going to do... I think, I mean, my brother's been on about it all week of Kings of Kingsfield um, being one of his best bets. I think he got like eight to one. Now it's gone into something like nine to two or something like that. So mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to have a play on that and then Pied Piper each way. But it's, yeah. it's one for the, it's for the small each way stakes, well, I'd say, it, as though. opposed I mean, to... With so many runners, you can afford to have two or three in this. Um, you'll get in a lot of places... You know, some firms on this, I think, are going at least six, maybe even more. So Sky Skybet have got seven places, and then obviously yeah, on sure. the um, on Betfair or on, on uh, Bet three six five, you can add up to ten places. The mm. odds come down a little bit, but seven places each way with Skybet is is a, is a great bet. I mean, yeah, majority of the others are at six places and stuff like that. So it's yeah. a real value if you find it for an each way show. You're going to need, like you said, you could choose probably four or five out and you only need two to get a place and none of them to win and you're still up. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's a nice punting opportunity. So anyone anyone who's watching this, let us know your thoughts. Who, who are you backing? Have you got any 
who you strongly fancy for the county hurdle. Um, are, you, are you playing each way bets as well? Let us know your tips for the county hurdle on day four of the Cheltenham Festival.